Good morning. In your ELA classes, you guys have been talking about cause and effect, sequencing, um, and several other things. So we're going to talk about cause and effect. You have this sheet. I'm pretty sure you've probably finished it, but if not, go ahead and get it done and turn it into me as soon as possible. Um, we're just going to do two together. So number one says the car ran a red light. So something happens and something happens as a result of it. Do we think it's A, the, horse, the horses were thirsty, B, she fell down, C, she was hungry at lunch, D, he was sleepy the next day, E, it boiled over, F, everyone laughed, G, it sank, H, Chris got wet, I, the teacher gave them a reward, or J, another car hit it. So think on that for a minute. Remember the cause was the car ran a red light. So if I were doing this, I would look for an answer that talks about something with cars or stoplights or anything that you might see on the street. So I'm gonna pick answer J, another car hit it. So the answer is J, the car ran a red light and another car hit it. Hopefully you've never had to see that happen, but I've definitely seen that happen before. All right, number two says, Ben stayed up late. So we know it's not J, but we'll go ahead and read through the answers again. Ben stayed up late is the cause, and the effect is A, the horses were thirsty. That makes no sense. B, she fell down. Well, Ben isn't a she. C, she was hungry at lunch. Once again, Ben wasn't a she. D, he was sleepy the next day. I'm gonna say that might be the answer, but we know that we need to go through all the answers to make sure. E, it boiled over. F, everyone laughed. G, it sank. H, Chris got wet. Or I, the teacher gave them a reward. I'm gonna stick with D, he was sleepy the next day. So I hope now you understand what you're supposed to do on this. You've got two answers down, J and D. Go ahead and cross those out. You got one and two done. So I should see you finish the other eight on your own, okay? As always, turn it in via a picture, either through your parents or drop it into the drop.